label. A label is something that provides information about a product. The label on the bottle of medicine is hard to read. Can you read this label for me, please? What does the label say? You have to read the label to know what's inside the product. Do you read the nutrition label before making a purchase? In the United States, all food products have to have a nutrition label. Sometimes this word is used as a verb. The company hasn't labeled the product yet. This jar was labeled incorrectly. The student was labeled as having an attention deficit disorder. Most people reject the idea of having a label placed on them, but it's something that is done when a person is in a situation that is outside the norm or different from the status quo. Sandra doesn't like being labeled as a cancer survivor. Religious people hate to hear their own religion labeled in any way that is negative. Henry rejected the label that was given to him by the other kids at school. It's not polite to label other people. Labor. Because today is Labor Day in the United States, the word labor is a good choice for the word of the day. Most people have today off. Labor Day is a worker's holiday. In many countries around the world, May 1st is the worker's holiday. In the United States, this holiday always falls on the first Monday in September. The word labor basically just means work. The sentences below show how it's used as a noun. Workers deserve a fair wage for their labor. The total cost for the car repair is $280. That includes parts and labor. Painting a house requires a lot of labor. The labor for the construction project is almost finished. Sometimes this word is used when a woman is having a baby. Mary was in labor for six hours before giving birth to a baby girl. It looks like she's going into labor. Let's get her to the hospital. The woman experienced complications during labor, so the doctors performed a C-section. These sentences use labor as a verb. The workers labored through the night to get the work done. Joe labors day and night to provide for his family. The police have labored to make the neighborhood safer. Sometimes you hear labor used as an adjective. Labor costs went down in some parts of the United States because of the recession. Lack. The word lack is very similar to the negative form of the verb have. 
they lack a good plan for improving their business. They don't have a good plan for improving their business. He lacks a good education. He doesn't have a good education. This neighborhood lacked a grocery store until last year. This neighborhood didn't have a grocery store until last year. You can also use the word lack as a noun. There's a lack of understanding among the people involved in this situation. A lack of clean water and proper sanitation caused an outbreak of disease. Joe didn't get the job because of his lack of knowledge. The lack of concern shown by the rich towards the poor may eventually cause problems later. Lady. A lady is a woman. A man gave this lady some tulips. She's a very beautiful lady. I met two ladies at lunch. There are some small things to consider when you use this word. It's nice to say a woman is a lady, but it's rude to use the word when referring to a woman directly. Hey lady, do you need some help? Excuse me ma'am, may I help you? What's wrong with you lady? Is there a problem, ma'am? Thanks, lady. Thank you. Using the plural form when addressing a group of women is considered polite. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I'm sorry, ladies. Your order is not ready yet. Sometimes adults address young girls as ladies. This is okay. Please get to class before the bell rings, ladies. You're a very pretty little lady. You are in big trouble, young lady. The possessive noun form of this word is used when talking about a bathroom for women. Maria went to the ladies' restroom. Where's the ladies' room? The ladies' bathroom on this floor is out of service. Lake A lake is a large body of water that is surrounded by land. The water in a lake is almost always fresh. That means you can drink it if it's clean. Lake water is usually not salty. A lake is much smaller than an ocean and larger than a pond. It's fun to go to the lake. Lakes with sandy beaches are very popular. There are over 14,000 lakes in Minnesota. 
A dock is a place from which boats can be launched onto the lake. These sailboats are on the lake. People who like to sail take their boats out onto the lake. There are five great lakes in the United States. Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, Lake Ontario, Lake Huron, and Lake Erie. Lake Superior is the deepest and largest of the five Great Lakes. Chicago is on Lake Michigan. Lame. A person or a thing that is lame is weak, unoriginal, or just not very good. Dan came up with a lame excuse for why he was late. That movie was lame. Mr. Smith's teaching style is so lame. Todd made a lame joke about people from Tennessee, but no one laughed. That was a really lame answer to the question. That's so lame. The word lame is also used when a person is physically weakened or an animal is injured. The man was shot in the leg. His leg is lame. Sometimes there's no other choice but to euthanize an animal that's lame. Weakened by hunger and fatigue, the lame traveler got off of his horse and sprawled out on a small patch of ground where he expected to die. Eventually he was saved. Lane a lane is a long, narrow passage used for traveling or moving. A highway is separated into lanes. When driving on the highway, drivers stay in their lanes. Lanes are clearly marked with lines. When making a right turn or a left turn onto a street, you might have to get into a turning lane. The word lane is also used in place of the word road. There are four other houses on this lane. Barb and Dan live on Raspberry Lane. The lane is wide enough for just one car to use it at a time. It's a narrow lane. There are a few other ways in which lane might be used. If you go bowling, you throw the ball down a lane in order to hit the pins. People who live in the fast lane go out a lot spend a lot of money, and do exciting things. Lap When you sit down, the horizontal area between your knees and your torso becomes a lap. Her computer is on her lap. It's a laptop computer. She has a baby on her lap. The word lap is also used for competitions that require the use of a track or a swimming pool. 
Swimming from one end of a pool to the other end and then back again is one lap. She's swimming laps. They're doing laps around a racetrack. When an animal drinks something, you can use lap as a verb. It's also used when water arrives on a shoreline or hits up against the side of a boat. The cat is lapping up some water. The waves lapping against the shoreline create a soothing sound. There are also some expressions that use the word lap. Tom didn't have to work very hard to find his new job. It just fell in his lap. Sandra expects everything to fall in her lap. I don't need any more work dropped in my lap. Laps. Use the word laps when there is a failure, a stop, or a decline. A temporary lapse in judgment caused Laura to make a bad decision. Terry decided to allow her auto insurance policy to lapse by not making payments, but now she can't drive her car. Don't let your family's health insurance lapse. When Bob lost his job, he lapsed into despair. Older people often suffer from a lapse in memory. The entire classroom lapsed into silence when the students found out that their teacher was not coming back. There are two other words that are similar to the word lapse. Elapse and relapse. The word elapse is used for the passage of time. The word relapse is used when a person returns to a previous bad situation. The movie was so interesting no one could tell how much time had elapsed from the start to the finish. After 20 minutes elapse, you can take the pizza out of the oven. Dorothea relapsed into a coma last week and died. Pedro lost 100 pounds on a very strict diet, but then he relapsed and gained back all the weight. Large. Use the word large when something is big. A watermelon is very large compared to an apple. A truck is larger than a car. Sometimes schools are closed when a large amount of snow falls. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. We had three large pizzas delivered to our house last night. Large crowds gather to watch sporting events. 
the Super Bowl attracts the largest TV audience of the year. A large number of people will watch the game. When the word largely is used as an adjective, it's similar to mostly or in large part. The event was largely successful. VHS tape players are largely obsolete. The deadline for filing taxes goes by largely unnoticed by those who file their taxes early. Wikipedia is funded largely by people who make donations to its continued operation. When someone or something is at large, it has escaped, or it's free to do what it wants to do. There's a coyote at large in our neighborhood. The police are looking for a suspect at large. I spent a few years as a student at large at a university because I didn't want to pay the graduate student rate for tuition. There are several artists at large within our community. Latch. A latch is a piece of hardware that keeps a door or a box closed. The latch on the shed has a lock on it. The latch on the toolbox is open. In order to carry the toolbox, you have to close both of the latches. The latch on a kitchen cabinet keeps the cabinet door closed. When the word latch is used as a verb, it means that something or someone is very close, holding on or sucking. The preposition on is usually used with latch to form the verb phrase latch on. The little boy latched on to his mother's neck and would not let go. A leech will latch onto your skin when it's underwater and suck blood out of your body. A baby latches on to his mother's breast for milk. Dan is an unpaid intern at a radio station. He's trying to latch on to a job as an announcer. Late. A person or a thing that is late is not on time. Jane was 10 minutes late to work this morning. She woke up late. She went to sleep late last night. She was late to a meeting. This is an easy word to use because it can be both an adjective and an adverb. John is late. He woke up late. The plane is late. The plane arrived late. Sarah was late to class. She came late to class. Sorry, you're too late. The word late also describes a time that is at the end of something, usually at the end of a day. 
They had a late meeting yesterday. They stayed up late. They worked late last night. The word late is often used when describing the end of a period of time, such as a decade or a century. Late 1960s rock music is dramatically different from that of the early 1960s. The last president of the late 20th century was Bill Clinton. Hector is in his late 40s. He's 48 years old. You can use late as an adjective when describing someone who has died. In this case, late goes before the noun, not after it. She misses her late husband. He died two years ago. Our late mother would have enjoyed seeing that she had so many grandchildren. The late Jack Benny was a great performer who was loved by millions. The word lately is different from late. However, you can say as of late, and it has about the same meaning as lately, which means recently. He's been acting strangely as of late. No one has seen Dean around the office as of late. As of late, she hasn't been feeling very well. She hasn't been feeling well as of late. Laugh. To laugh is to react to something that is funny. Short bursts of air and sound from the mouth indicate that a person is having a good time. Laughter may be controlled, but sometimes it is difficult to stop. Some laughter hurts a person's feelings. Nadine laughed at Bill's joke. She laughs all the time. Everyone laughed at Sam's new haircut. I couldn't stop laughing during the movie. It was so funny. Don't laugh when you see my car. It's really junky. People laughing and singing in the apartment next door kept everyone awake all night. Stop laughing. You can use the words laugh, laughing, or laughter as nouns. We had a good laugh over the incident. Laughter could be heard coming from the classroom. The laughing stopped as soon as one of the children got hurt. Then all we heard was crying. The city says it will finally fix the problem. That's a laugh. I'll believe it when I see it. Laundry. The word laundry is used for clothes and other things that need to be washed. Notice that the verb do is often used with the word laundry. I have to do my laundry today. Sandra does her laundry on the weekend. How much laundry do you have to do? Most Americans use a washer and a dryer for laundry. Do you use a dryer for your clothes or do you hang them outside to dry? Who does the laundry in your family? Many people in the United States have their own appliances for doing laundry, but there are places of business that provide this service. Tina does her laundry at the laundromat. 
Bob pays someone at the laundromat to do his laundry. Vanessa is a businesswoman. She takes most of her laundry to the dry cleaners because she often wears suits that need to be dry cleaned. Many hotels provide a laundry service, but it's expensive. Lay. There are many different ways to use the word lay. Perhaps the most common use is similar to the verb put. You can lay those boxes on the floor. You can put those boxes on the floor. We laid some carpet in the living room. We put some carpet in the living room. The simple form of this verb is lay. The past tense is laid. The past participle is laid. You need to use an object after this verb because it's transitive. I laid my cards on the table. The word cards is an object. Joe has laid out some plans for his new project. The word plans is an object. Here are some other examples for the verb lay. A chicken lays eggs. A construction worker lays bricks. You can lay a bet if you like to gamble. Plans are laid when thinking about the future. Responsibilities are laid on our political leaders. People lay their hands on things and on other people. I can't wait to lay my hands on the new iPhone. A table is laid for dinner. When you put down the plates, the forks, the knives, etc., you are laying the table. There are a few expressions that use the word lay. He has to lay his cards on the table. Lay it on me. Lazy. A person who does not like to work hard or avoids working is said to be lazy. The word lazy is an adjective. He's so lazy. Don't be so lazy. A lazy person rarely succeeds. Most of the students did well on a test, but the ones who were lazy failed. Lazy people make terrible employees. He makes his wife do everything for him. He's so lazy. The word laziness is a noun. She was fired for laziness. His laziness cost the company a lot of money. If not for his laziness, he would be a good employee. Lead. The word lead can be used as a verb, a noun, and as an adjective. In the first set of examples, lead means to take someone or something to a place or into a situation. A person who leads controls others and makes decisions for other people. A thing that leads goes in a particular direction. The simple form of this verb is lead. 
The past tense is led. The past participle is led. Where does this highway lead to? A degree in business administration can lead to a good career. Let's follow this idea and see where it leads us. We were led to believe something that wasn't true. The teacher is leading the class in a lesson on pronunciation. The CEO leads an organization of over 500 people. The president led the country into a difficult conflict. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. In the next set of sentences, the verb lead means that a person or a group is first among others or winning. He's leading a large pack of runners. The New York Yankees are leading three to nothing. The story about a bombing in Pakistan led the news this evening. Brazil is leading by two points. You can also use lead as a noun. A lead is a person who is first or provides direction to others. Who's the team lead on this project? The runner from Kenya took an early lead in the race. Which team has the lead? Rhonda has the lead among other candidates for the IT position. She has the lead. I think she'll win. The words lead or leading are used as adjectives. Rhonda is our leading candidate for the job. Dr. Smith is a leading authority on this subject. The lead role for the film went to Jennifer Lopez. The lead author of the report made an appearance before the commission. Lean. To lean is to shift the weight of a thing or a person onto something else. Instead of standing up straight, a person who leans moves to the left or the right, forwards or backwards. The simple form of this verb is lean. The past tense is leaned. The past participle is leaned. The Tower of Pisa leans a little to one side. Many people refer to it as the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The man leaned forward and made a short speech. She leaned her elbow on the railing and looked down at the people below. He's leaning against the wall. The meaning of this word can change depending on the situation. Lucia's boss is leaning on her to accept his new idea. Bob leans on his wife and depends on her support. The Democratic Party in the United States leans to the left. The Republican Party leans to the right. We're leaning towards moving our business to a new location. 
when the word lean is used as an adjective, it describes an amount of fat. To be lean is to be healthy or there's a healthy amount of fat. This package says the meat is 90% lean. Breast meat from a chicken is usually very lean. Lean young men and women go to the beach to soak up the sun and relax. Leap The word leap is similar to the word jump. This word has both literal and figurative meanings. In these sentences, leap is a noun. The boys took a leap into the ocean. Going from Eritrea to the United States was a big leap for Jonas. Ariel took a long flying leap off of the diving board and into the water. To leave your native country and move to a different country under the belief that things will be better there requires a huge leap of faith. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The word leap is also used as a verb. The simple form is leap. Past tense, leaped. Past participle, leaped. The squirrel was able to leap from one tree branch to another without falling. A toad leaped into a hole during a storm. Kevin is probably going to leap over everyone else in class. He's very smart. My dog can easily leap over this fence. Lease. The word lease is used when something is rented. A lease is a contract. Typical leasing arrangements involve apartments, houses, cars, and equipment. In these sentences, the word lease is a noun. Carla signed a one-year lease for her apartment. I have a three-year lease on a Toyota Prius. Vern is trying to get out of his lease. If you break your lease, you'll lose your deposit. In these sentences, the word lease is a verb. Carla is leasing an apartment. Tony leased a new Chevy Volt. Our company is leasing some heavy equipment. Vern might sublease his apartment. When a person survives a serious illness or when the overall situation for a person improves, the expression lease on life might be used. After losing 120 pounds and quitting smoking, Bill feels as though he has a new lease on life. 